Hey Instagram, hey Facebook, hey YouTube. It is great to be live with you. Thank you so much for joining me for day 15 of our live meditations. If this is your first time here or you're watching the replay, every single day for the past, <clears throat> excuse me, for the past 15 days, we've been going live and I've been sharing breath work, visualizations, affirmation meditations, and it has been an incredible way to connect together. I've been telling meditations that are about stories, reflections, mountain walks. We've been on beach walks. It's been a truly, truly phenomenal experience. And the reason why it's been so amazing it's thanks to each and every single one of you that have carved out time to join every single day. And it means the world to me that we've had <clears throat> over something like 8 million people in the last 15 days, over 10 million people in the last 15 days that have come together and meditated. So thank you so much to each and every one of you. Johannes, great to have you here. Jarek, thanks for joining in, man. It's good to see you. Kobe, always good to see you as well. So as you're coming in on live, this is what I want you to do. If you're on Instagram, take a screenshot, text it to your friends, text all your friends right now and say, come and join us and meditate with us live. It's so powerful when we can meditate together. I've been inviting some of my incredible friends on. We've meditated with Chrissy Metz. We've meditated with Eva Longoria. Yesterday we had Kunal Naya from The Big Bang Theory. And so meditating with your friends is, is fun. It's enjoyable. So make sure you reach out and invite them all. On Facebook, it's simpler for you. Just press that share button. By simply pressing that share button, your friends can watch this right now and afterwards. So please, please, please take a moment to press share as well. And everyone on Instagram, I am so excited to see you here. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining. I appreciate it. Let me know what you've been enjoying about these live meditations so far. I'd love to know what has been the highlight for you. Which one has been the most powerful one for you? Julie Harper says, woohoo, day 15 from Spain. Julie, that is amazing. Congratulations. That's incredible. That's so good to hear. I love hearing that, that you've been able to join every single day. <clears throat> Patricia says, with you since day one. Amazing. Thank you so much. Lynn says, hi, Jay. I've been catching up with the meditations, but thought I'd join you today. This is great. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you here live. Kia says, been here every day. It's been a blessing. That's amazing. Now, we've actually, this is what I realized after a long time. So I teach meditation in my genius coaching group every single week. And we have a huge library there. I had no idea that I wasn't doing it externally. So I realized. So a big shout out to my genius coaching group that have been with me for the last couple of years. It's amazing to have you there as well. Okay, this is great. I love these meditations so much. Such a wonderful dive into blisses. Laura, thank you, Laura. Michael, good to see you here. Kelly says, woohoo, best way to start the day. Thank you. From Canada. Awesome. Great to have you here. Pipasha, thank you so much for joining today. It means a lot. Thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> Visualize loved ones and nature, says Kim, was the best one. Three that day 11. That's great to have you here. Awesome. So everyone on Instagram, let your friends know that you're joining. Share it on stories so that they know you're here. I want to see how many more people can we can get. Right now, across platforms, we have just under 20,000 people who are going to meditate live together. And, you know, well, as we've been doing these sessions, we've had up to about 40,000 people. So it's incredible to see the commitment that you all have. And right now, we're going to have just under 20,000 people meditating together. And that's incredible when you think about what that does for the consciousness of the planet. So if you're alone right now, if you're lonely right now, know that you're not alone when you're meditating with 20,000 people all across the world who are sending out their best energy, who are sending out their best vibes and are connecting with you on a deep, deep level. So thank you to each and every one of you for turning up again. I'm so excited for today's meditation. We're going to get our mind to ease. We're going to get our mind to relax and calm. And we're going to give you the clarity that you need. Sona, so good to have you back here as well. Markel, I'm waiting for you. Oh, there you are, man. Markel has been here every single day. Amazing. <clears throat> Looking for what, one last comment that I want to read. Everyone on Facebook, press share for the last time. Press share so that so many of your friends and family can watch this afterwards and join in with us live right now. Instagram, let your friends know for the last time because once we start meditating, there's no texting, right? So we're going to be able to close our eyes and go inward. So let everyone know. Amazing. Awesome. This is great. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm about to turn the music on and then we're going to go into our meditation. 
And then I'll explain what we did. We're on day 15 right now for everyone who's asking. <clears throat> Mark Heller always tells me what day it is. I'm pretty sure it's day 15. Okay. If you can hear the music, say yes in the comments. And we're on Facebook, press that share button. I want lots more people to be able to join us. <clears throat> I'm gonna clear my throat, sorry. If you can hear the music, put a little thumbs up, say yes in the comments. Dan says, this will be my first meditation with you. Super happy. I was on Facebook at this moment. Thank you so much for joining. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is your 15th time, welcome. If this is your 100th time, welcome to each and every one of you. Great. <clears throat> Jeremy, so good to see you here. Okay, everyone can hear the music. Fantastic. Okay, so close your eyes. Lower your gaze. And create a physical space <clears throat> of calm, balance, ease, stillness, and peace. Stretch as much as you like. Roll back your shoulders, loosen your neck. Really create a physical space of comfort, calm, balance, ease, stillness, and peace. Throughout this meditation, anytime you feel uncomfortable or need to change position, feel free to adjust and adapt your seating position for calm, comfort, balance, ease, and peace. Breathe in and lower your left ear to your left shoulder and breathe out and bring it back to the middle. Breathe in and lower your right ear to your right shoulder and breathe out and bring it back to the middle. <clears throat> Again, two more times. Breathe in and lower your left ear to your left shoulder and bring it back to the middle. Lower your right ear to your right shoulder and bring it back to the middle. Lower your left ear to your left shoulder as you breathe in and bring it back to the middle as you breathe out. Lower your right ear to your right shoulder as you breathe in and bring it back to the middle as you breathe out just aligning your body and your breath. <clears throat> Wherever your mind wanders, the goal of meditation is not to stop your mind from wandering. It's to bring your mind back when you notice it has wandered. Let me repeat that again. <clears throat> Distraction is not when your mind wanders. Distraction is when you notice your mind wandering and you don't bring it back. Today, I want you to bring it back to the sound of my voice and bring it back to calm, balance, ease, stillness, and peace. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. <clears throat> Breathe in for a count of one, two, three, four. 
Hold for two and breathe out for four. So breathe in for a count of one, two, three, four. Hold for two and breathe out for one, two, three, four. In your own time, at your own pace. If it helps, place your right palm on your stomach. Feel your stomach come out as you breathe in and feel your stomach go in as you breathe out. I'm going to do it now as well. Do it three times. Allowing yourself to slow down, to unwind, to find calm, balance, ease, stillness, and peace. And when you want to quit, <clears throat> when you want to stop, remind yourself this, that if you stop now, any of your anxiety and pressure and tension will just continue to build. We're addressing it, we're amending it, and we're affecting it by sitting with it. By sitting with our discomfort, we give it the attention that it wants. By sitting with our pain and our pressure, we acknowledge it, we notice it. It's when we sit with a problem that we're able to work through it. Repeat after me. I am ready to grow. And you can repeat it out loud wherever you are. I am ready to grow. I am ready to evolve. Repeat after me. I am ready to evolve. And repeat after me. I am ready to transform. It's so important that we prepare our mind for change, that we prepare our mind for uncertainty. that we prepare our mind for growth. Because the only thing certain in life are growth, change and uncertainty. So when we're prepared, when we're ready, we can overcome any challenge in our life. For a moment, I want you to visualize in your heart, your hands, and your head everything that you're holding on to. Everything that you're attached to. And remember, anything that you're holding on to is holding you back. So what I want you to envision is I want you to envision your palms opening, your heart opening, your head opening, and just letting go of any tension or pressure or stress or anxiety. Feel them fading away, disappearing and dissipating out of your hands as you let go. So breathe in a deep breath and breathe out and visualize yourself letting go to everything you're holding on to 
that's holding you back. It could be your ego, it could be a conflict with a loved one, it could be a tension, it could be a text that someone sent yesterday, it could be a comment on social media, it could be an age old issue. Feel yourself shedding and letting go. Feel your heart opening, your head opening, your hands opening. And if it helps, clench your hands and then gradually as you breathe out, open your hands and feel yourself letting go. So breathe in and clench your hands. And breathe out and open your hands and let go of everything you're holding on to. There's a famous statement that states, it's a ancient piece of wisdom. And what it tells us is that letting go is hard and tough but holding on is much harder. So when you're breathing out today, breathe out that tension and pain and any anxiety you have. Let your breath relax you. Let your breath guide you. <clears throat> so breathe in deeply and breathe out. Breathe in for a count of four and try and extend your exhale for a count of seven. So breathe in for a count of four and extend your exhale naturally and gradually for a count of seven. Do that three times. It may be hard the first couple of times, so try a few more where you learn to slow down your exhale. As you exhale, feel your body become more relaxed. Feel your body become more calm. Feel your heart opening and letting go of any of the grief or the grudges that are being held on to there. The hands are usually holding on to anger or frustration. Our hearts hold on to grief and grudges and our head holds on to conflict and ego. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Repeat after me, I choose to let go. I choose to let go. I choose to let go. Visualize yourself lighter, freer, more powerful than ever before. We become powerful when we let go, not when we hold on. Because in letting go, we're free. We're now free for our heart to invite new things. We're free for our hands to hold new things. We're free for our head to intellectualize 
and contemplate new things because they're no longer crowded spaces. They're free, they're empty, they're open to be filled with the goodness, the greatness and our real goals. Again, three times, breathe in for a count of four and feel yourself breathing out for a count of seven if you can. In your own time, at your own pace, when you're ready, if you're ready, you can gently and softly, in your own time, at your own pace, open your eyes. <clears throat> And don't go away, tell me how that was. It's really important, I wanna share with you what we did and why we did it and why it works. It's so important for you to understand that. Sherry says, wow, this brought tears to my eyes. I so needed this. Susie says, thank you for bringing these amazing words and thoughts. Karen says, Jay, you helped me cleanse my heart, mind and body and soul. Instagram, tell me how that was for you. Roger says, love, love, love the guided meditation. Really like the letting go through my hands, says George. Melly says, thank you, Jay. That was releasing and reboosting. I'm glad. <clears throat> Sarah says, I love the method of clenching your hands and releasing as you let go. Amazing ways not only to visualize, but truly feel yourself letting go. Brought tears to my eyes. Thank you. Loanne, thank you for sharing such a beautiful gift of meditation with me and the rest of the world on my birthday. Happy birthday. We're all in this together and we'll be stronger working together, bring calm. Es absolutely. Three Dark says, I feel a lot lighter and content with my surroundings. I'm glad. How was it for you? It's really important to share your reflection for yourself too because it cements this powerful memory into your mind. So I'll share one thing that's really important to you. When you have a bad day, how many people do you tell? You may tell social media, you may tell a few places. Pipasha says, power of group meditation is beautiful, unifying, absolutely. We have over 20,000 people live right now that were meditating, it's incredible. The power of all of you and what you achieve together. But think about this for a moment. When we have a bad day or a bad experience, how many people do we tell? Maybe you had a bad experience with the Uber driver or at a store, or you had something annoying happen at work. You tell everyone, you message everyone, you social media, you tell your family, you tell everyone you meet that day. When you've had a powerful and positive experience, how many people do you tell? One or two? There's a reason why negative memories have a stronger grip on our lives than positive memories because we repeat. And remember, we retain what we repeat. We remember what we repeat. So when we keep repeating negative scenarios and negative memories, we retain them, we remember them. But when you repeat and you share and you articulate positive experiences like this meditation was for you, you retain that memory. When you tell people, that's why it's important. It's not important to tell people from marketing or to let people know. It's important to let people know because then that's what you retain. We retain what we repeat. Right? We retain what we repeat. So if we keep repeating negative patterns, negative thoughts, negative surroundings, negative things that happen in our life, then we retain the negativity. So what did we do today? The first thing that we did was obviously calm ourselves, which we've been doing every day. The second thing that we really focused on today was we focused on seeing if we could visualize ourselves letting go of what we store in our head, our hearts, and our hands. If you notice, we usually feel weight here, we feel weight here, and we feel tension here. And that's why I was saying that in our hands, we usually hold anger and frustration. 
in our heart we hold grief and grudges and in our head we hold our ego and conflict. And so we were visualizing ourselves letting go and feeling ourselves letting go because when we start to open up that through visualization, we realize that actually me holding on to that is just weighing me down. Me holding on to that pain is just causing me more pain. And so when you visualize yourself letting go and you feel lighter, you go, ah, oh, that's what I need to do in real life. That's what I need to do. And you are doing it in real life. We're rewiring our mind to start that process of just letting go. And when we let go, what happens? We open our minds, our hearts and our hands for more space, right? If my, if my hands, for example, if my hands are full of this, right? What, what do I have space for? I don't. I don't have space for wisdom, right? I don't have space to hold other things. And so for so many of us, it's so important to release because some of us are wondering why great things don't happen to us. Some of us are wondering why we can't have and hold incredible things, why we don't receive incredible things is because we don't release. You receive when you release. If you don't release, you have no space to receive anything. Right, think about that for a moment. If you don't release, you don't have any space to receive anything. So if you're wondering why you haven't received anything for a long time, ask yourself, when was the last time you released? It's when you release that you can truly receive. So ask yourself that instead of asking, why am I not getting what I want? Why are things not coming to me in life? Ask yourself, what have I yet to release? Alicia says, Jay, this was amazing and your voice is so hypnotic. <laughs> Thank you, that's very kind. I feel lighter in my thoughts, amazing. Awesome, so what I'd love for you to do if you're on Facebook is share this video so that so many more people can watch this. This can reach so many more people. If you've taken benefit from this today, if you've valued it, pass it along. On Instagram, everyone who's joined today, take a screenshot. Put it on your story, share it. If you benefited from this, if you gained from it, share it with the world. We want more people, YouTube as well, we want more people to have powerful, uplifting experiences. So I wanna thank you, I'm sending all my love, my appreciation, my gratitude to each and every one of you for joining. I'm sending your prayer, my prayers to your family, and your friends and people that you love. And come and join me again tomorrow with a very special guest for our meditations. Make sure you join tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow, same time, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. I will see you here on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. Do not miss out. Sending you all my love. Thank you so much. Thanks, Facebook. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, Instagram.